Good morning all. Welcome to Examiner 365. Hope you all are good and safe. In this video, we are going to discuss about the important current affairs questions and answers on 10th January 2023. Do watch the video till the end. We will ask you a question at the end of this video. Please type your answer in comment section. Let's begin this section. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has inaugurated the Pravasi Bharati Divas Convention in which city? Indoor. It is a city in Madhya Pradesh. Prime Minister Narendra Modi formally inaugurated the Pravasi Bharati Divas Convention at Indoor in Madhya Pradesh. Let's talk about Pravasi Bharati Divas. The day observed on 9th January in India to mark the contribution of the overseas Indian community towards the development of India. The day commemorates the return of Mahatma Gandhi from South Africa to Mumbai on 9th January 1915. Guyana's President Mohammed Irfan Ali is one of the 21 recipients of the 17th Pravasi Bhati Saman Award. He is the chief guest at the convention. Not on this point, he is the President of Guyana. Let's talk about Pravasi Bharati Samman Award. It is the highest honor conferred on overseas Indians during the Pravasi Bharati Divas Convention. Let's summarize the points. Who has inaugurated the Pravasi Bharati Divas Convention? In Indoor, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Pravasi Bharati Divas observed on 9th January. Who was the chief guest at the convention? Dr. Muhammad Irfan Ali. He is the president of Guyana. Let's move to next question. Which city will host the first Global Partnership for Financial Inclusion meeting of the G20 or Group of 20? The answer is Kolkata. The first G20 Global Partnership for Financial Inclusion meeting under G20 India Presidency is scheduled to be held during 9th to 11th January 2023 in Kolkata. The meeting began with a round of discussions aimed at better opening of doors of digital transactions to marginal people for financial progress and productivity growth. India's G20 presidency is grounded in the theme of Vasudeva Kudumbagam or One Earth, One Family, One Future which underlines the message of equitable growth and shared future for all. Not on this point. The theme is Vasudeva Kudumbagam or One Earth, One Family, One Future. Who is India's G20 Sherpa? Amitabh Kant. Not on this point also. The government introduced a new system to measure and grade the performance of hospitals empaneled under ABPMJAY. What is the abbreviation of ABPMJAY? Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mandri Jen Aroki Yojana Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mandri Jen Aroki Yojana was launched on 23rd September 2018. The AP PMJY is the world's largest government-funded health assurance scheme. It provides health assurance of up to Rs. 5 lakh per family per year for secondary and tertiary healthcare hospitalizations. The National Health Authority has introduced a new system to measure and grade hospital performance under the flagship scheme Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mandri Jen Aarogya Yojana. The new model aims at shifting the focus of measuring the performance of hospitals from the volume of service provided to the value of healthcare services. Here, the payment will be outcompassed and providers will be rewarded according to the quality of the treatment delivered. Let's move to next question. Who has stepped down as the Managing Director of Gujarat Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation? R.S. Sodhi 
R. Sodhi, Managing Director of Gujarat Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation, which makes India's largest dairy brand Amul, has stepped down four decades after he joined the Federation. GCMMF has named Chief Operating Officer Jain Mehta as Interim Managing Director. Note on this point also. Which company has launched the low smoke superior kerosene oil for the Indian Army? BPCL, Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited. BPCL, a Maharatna and a Fortune Global 500 company, has announced the launch of low smoke superior kerosene oil for the Indian Army in Jammu. Normal kerosene emits substantial smoke, which poses a health hazard to the Army personnel who use it at higher altitudes where oxygen level is very low. Hence, the low smoke kerosene is a big step towards providing a cleaner fuel to our soldiers operating in very tough terrains. Let's talk about BPCL. Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited is an Indian central public sector undertaking under the ownership of Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, Government of India. Where is the headquarters of BPCL, Mumbai, who is the chairman and managing director of BPCL, Betsa Ramakrishna Gupta. The RBI will auction sovereign green bonds in two tranches of rupees 8,000 crore each. The Reserve Bank of India will auction sovereign green bonds in two tranches of rupees 8,000 crore each. The RBI will sell two bonds maturing in five years and ten years worth 4,000 crore each at both auctions. Let's talk about sovereign green bonds. The government had released the sovereign green bonds framework in November last year. A Green Finance Working Committee headed by the Chief Economic Advisor V. Ananda Nageshwaran will select public sector projects for green financing from those submitted by government departments. Let's talk about Reserve Bank of India. RBI is India's central bank and regulatory body responsible for regulation of the Indian banking system. It founded on 1st April 1935 under the RBI Act 1934. Where is the headquarters of RBA? Mumbai. Who is the governor of RBA? Shakti Kanda Das. Who has appointed as the executive director of Manapura Finance? Sumita Nandan. Anapura Finance has appointed Sumita Nandan as its executive director. She had worked in the company as executive assistant to MD and CEO and senior vice president in charge of corporate coordination. Let's talk about Manapura Finance. Manapura Finance Limited is a Kerala based NBFC, non banking financial company. What do you mean by NBFC? A non-banking financial institution or non-bank financial company is a financial institution that does not have a full banking license or is not supervised by a national or international banking regulatory agency. Which Indian American has been sworn in as the first female Sikh judge in the US? Manfred Monika Singh. Indian origin Manpreet Monika Singh has been sworn in as a Harris country church, becoming the first female Sikh church in the United States. Republican leader Kevin McCarthy has been elected as the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. Note on this point also. Let's move to next question. Who has clinched the girls under 15 squash title at the British Junior Open Tournament in Birmingham? Anahat Singh Indian squash prodigy Anahat Singh clinched the girls under 15 squash title at the most prestigious British Junior Open Tournament in Birmingham. She defeated Sohali Hassam of Egypt 3-1 in the final. 
The British Union Open is held in January every year in the United Kingdom where all the players from all over the world compete to win the coveted title. Dr. T. Hempton E. Udbadia passed away. He was a doctor. Dr. T. Hempton E. Udbadia is a renovated Indian surgeon who is based on as the father of laparoscopy surgery in India. Dr. Udbadia is credited with introducing laparoscopy surgery to India in the early 1980s and has since played a significant role in popularizing and advancing the field in the country. Let's check previous day question and answer. Which country will host the special Voice of Global South Summit virtually? The answer is our country, India. India will host a special virtual summit on 12th and 13th of January called Voice of Global South Summit. The theme of the summit is Unity of Love, Unity of Purpose. The summit envisages bringing to the countries of the Global South and sharing their perspectives and priorities on a common platform across a whole range of issues. More than 120 countries are being invited for this summit. Let's check today's question. India will hold the joint air exercise Veer Guardian 2023 with which country? Please type your answer in comment section. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and you have received some important points. How was the video? If you find this helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends to get daily current affairs notes. Please subscribe to our channel. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care.